What's up, y'all? My name is Dan, and I'm an alternative rap artist from Los Angeles. Yep. So recently I partnered up with Giant Robot Media to be able to put on my album release party. It was a really exciting night for me because one, it was a chance to be able to play my music for the first time live. But then even more importantly, it gave me a chance to honor those people that really have helped me in my career so far. And so I had a lot of musicians, a lot of different artists, a lot of different people uh, from the community that were there that uh, we got to just kind of celebrate together. Uh, that night particularly, I got a chance to perform with some of my favorite people. So Prisca, Chucky, uh, Kevin, Travis Atreyu, uh, Jinji, uh, Richie, and, um, 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 and uh, who else was there? We, we just had a lot of different community partners, a lot of different musicians that got to help me uh, uh, celebrate that night. So it was, it was a really fun opportunity. My upcoming album is called Escape from LA. It's part of a bigger four part CD project called All I Ever Wanted Was Everything. And basically to me, what it is, is I want it to be like the master of none of uh, musical projects. And uh, it's an album about uh, really kind of figuring out what it is that you wanna be, how you wanna leave your legacy within this community. And a lot of the songs kind of confront those themes head on. Uh, it's about family, it's about love, it's about anxiety. And I think these are a lot of things that, I've, that uh, Master Nun really uh, takes on in a uh, really, really astute manner. Uh, most of all, it's about identity. It's about figuring out what your identity is as a second generation kid within a multicultural uh, world. The song Runners really encompasses the entire album, which is why it's the first single. Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's the song is about running from your problems, but also running your problems. You just kind of need to uh, accept that life is going to come at you the way that it's going to come at you. And it's up to you on whether or not you want to escape those problems or face those problems and run those problems on your own. So uh, it really, it, it honestly, it, it kind of is a song that really fits every single part of my life. It's the way that I felt at every single age of my life. And, uh, and so it wasn't really necessarily inspired by one specific moment, it's been inspired by the entire journey. I think people write music to relate or to escape. And uh, people listen to music to relate or escape. And I think for me, what I do is I wanna provide songs that I think that other people can hopefully relate to. With regards to uh, the upcoming albums, there's gonna be a theme for every single one of them. And so the next album is actually gonna be called Yellow Face. And so it's gonna be kind of addressing this, uh, this issue of race head on. And uh, every single album after this is also gonna be like, it's, it's really gonna be like a tiny mini album. So it's gonna be three song EPs that I put out afterwards. I took this idea of taking like um, the iconic LA symbol, then flipping it around, and then putting like an arrow to like as the, meaning to escape it shows movement and so that kind of like is what the whole <clears throat> the the logo is all about and uh, that's what the album's all about too escape from la it's about flipping this idea of los angeles on its head and then um, showing progressive movement towards uh, a brighter and happier future isa tv is the brainchild of wonka productions and far east movement and i've been so lucky to have been able to work with them on uh, this wonderful, wonderful platform for elevating Asian Pacific American entertainment, lifestyle, and culture. Uh, with regards to being able to balance both of those two worlds, uh, I think it goes hand in hand. I think that what I learned at ISA uh, makes me a better artist, and I think what I learned as being an artist helps me at ISA. And all of the connections are very similar, and everything that I do with the ISA network um, is something that I believe heavily in. It's something that I've worked heavily towards, and it's great to see that it continues to grow and hopefully impacts people for the positive. But at the end of the day, it's been something that Wang Fu and Far East Movement really believed in, and it's a story and a message that I think resonates with uh, uh, generations, worlds, communities to come. It's been really great for me being able to be so involved within the Korean adoptee community um, because of my connection with the uh, digital and Asian American entertainment community. Uh, I've really made it a goal of mine to uh, elevate those stories. Uh, as we know that like Asian Americans are like a sliver of the uh, the conversation within Hollywood and Asian adoptee stories are a sliver of a sliver. And so it's been so cool to be able to be a part of so many awesome projects here at ISA TV 
uh, that I've been able to partake in that I think have really, uh, I think, elevated uh, Asian adoptees in general. And so I've been able to work on documentary series, one for my personal one where I met my biological family for the first time, including a twin brother. And that was on YouTube. And I think a lot of people, even, even non-adoptees, were able to watch that and find a lot of interest and a lot of uh, relatability to this, this idea of like coming from a different background, feeling lost in a, another country, uh, and then feeling um, different because your family's different. So there was that, and then I also got to work on a project which was kind of a sequel where uh, I got to follow five other adoptees and, and document their stories. And so for me, it's been really cool, and I, I feel really, I think, I think that I'm just really thankful that these people have wanted to share their stories too, and that I've been able to be a part of a, uh, a world where I can help elevate them and tell their stories in hopefully a respectful way. And then most importantly, I think it's allowed other people from around the world that are adopted to see just just other content around them. It might not be their story. Uh, it's probably not their story, but just the fact that other content exists out there in a relatable, accessible manner, I think means the world to a lot of other adoptees. So um, that's been really just heartwarming and, and important to me. What's next for me is getting out the album and very soon. And so Escape from LA will hopefully be out. Maybe it's out right now, actually. Maybe by the time this video comes out, it'll actually be, be out, uh, available on the streaming and whatnot. And um, uh, from there though, I've got a bunch of different music videos I can't wait to put out. I filmed four music videos so far. I've got three more music videos that I wanna film. Uh, and then I'm already working on the next album. So the next album should hopefully be out by February of next year. That's my goal. Uh, I had a chance to go out to Singapore recently and I got to perform out there, but I just wanna perform in more locations. And so I think there's gonna be a lot of really cool opportunities to be able to perform in places around the world very soon. And uh, hopefully within five years, I've been able to just continue to make music and push it out there. Content wise, I'd love to like still work on more adoptee content. I think there's gonna be opportunities for that soon too. And uh, just to kind of just elevate that particular part and just, just hopefully that drives me. Yeah, thank you guys for checking me out. If you want to check out more, follow me at Dan AK Dan. I've got a website now, danakdan.me, and you can find out the merch and everything there. Thank you, Giant Robot. Viewers and listeners, um, I really appreciate it. Just keep on elevating the game. Oh, 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 oh,